Greetings and welcome to this full guide to the newly released Samophone and Downgrade tool, a tool which you can use to downgrade all your ARM64 devices to lower iOS versions. Also, it will jailbreak your downgraded iOS version according to the version you have downgraded to. The method shown in this video along with the new Samophone is completely free and it is also completely open source and we are at the official github page for a semaphorin as you can see it right here also the shsh blobs are not required to downgrade your supported devices to the lower ios versions and if you scroll down you can see at the time of making this video all your a7 to a10 devices are supported a10x and a11 support is coming in a future release so once it is up I will update that in the description so you can simply keep an eye on it and for this video the device at hand is an iPhone 6 and it is freshly restored to its official version the latest version and we will downgrade it to iOS 10.3.3 in this video also guys the good thing is that if you are downgrading to iOS 10.3.3 or later dual boot is automatically made all right also before you use it please back up all your data in this video we will be using the gui version of semaphorin but in case if you want to use the cli version you can simply follow these instructions install xcode select and install and then install git on mac os then use this command to clone semaphorin and then simply use this command after getting your device into DFU mode, sudo dot slash semaphorin.sh and type the version you want to downgrade to and then hyphen hyphen restore. And once your device is successfully restored, now to boot, you can simply put your device into DFU mode again and then run this command sudo dot slash semaphorin.sh and then the version you have downgraded to and then hyphen hyphen boot talking about the requirements mac os catalina or later is supported and to make it work simply install java 8 using this link from the official github page please note that amd cpus are not supported only intel cpus are supported you will need 20 gb of free space on your pc also before you begin make sure that the main ios version on your device is properly activated all right now as you can see i have already downloaded java 8 and installed it now to get the semaphore app simply head to the github page and you will see the latest release here now guys from the latest release simply scroll down and you can simply get the semaphore app from assets please download it and run it also in case you are unable to run it you can simply open settings and then go to security and privacy and from here you can simply hit this open anyway button and your app will launch now if you see this message hit open now please connect your ios device via usb and it should show up here if it is not showing up here please do not worry you can simply connect a device in DFU. So now put your device manually into DFU. Now, once your device is in DFU, it should show up here on Semaphore in the app, as you can see it right here. Now hit the restore button and a terminal should open. Now simply put the Mac OS password here and you will see this message. If your device is in DFU, hit proceed in DFU and from here select the version you want to downgrade to so I want to downgrade to iOS 10.3.3 I will select it and then hit OK again put the password for your Mac OS here and the process should begin it will start downloading some files I will simply pause the video here and then I will resume once we see any prompt for us to act on. 
now it will create a RAM disk. It has to do it several times. Files are downloaded and a RAM disk is created. And I will pause the video here and resume it once we see any prompt which require us to act on. Now guys, at this point, it will ask you to type the version your device is originally on. So my iPhone 6 is on 12.5.7. I will type that in and press enter. It will download some more files. Now guys, at this point, it has to download the .dmg file from the version you want to downgrade to. So for me, I was 10.3.3 and this is a large file. It can take some time. All right, after the large download completes, the process will continue and a RAM disk will be created and then it will prepare your device for SSH. Now guys, at this point, get your device into GFU. If it is not recognized right away, please unplug it and replug it and then type here yes and then press enter and a RAM disk will be booted wait for the process to finish now once the SSH RAM disk is fully booted press enter you will have to do it several times between the process now simply unplug and replug then type here yes and then press enter now guys at this point the required files are backed up now your device will get into normal mode now from there get it into dfu by simply pressing enter and then following the instructions to get your device into dfu all right as you can see my device is now in dfu now please unplug and replug the cable and then type here yes press enter then press enter again a ram disk will be booted up and then your device will get into ssh ram disk Now wait for the SSH RAM disk to fully boot up. Then simply press enter and the process will continue. Unplug and replug. Type here yes, press enter, press enter again. And you will see that the process will continue. If you see fail to delete, please do not panic. Eventually it will work. So please leave it here. All right, as you can see, it worked. Now it will send the os.dmg file to your device. This can take about 10 minutes. So we will wait for the process to finish. All right, so after the os.dmg is copied over, more files are now being downloaded. After that, your device will boot into recovery mode but for me it booted into normal mode don't worry now from there get it into dfu mode now simply press any key and get it into dfu by following the instructions all right so the device entered dfu now simply unplug and replug and then in terminal type yes press enter press enter again and the process will continue ram disk will be booted and then it will lead your device into ssh ram disk unplug and replug type yes press enter press enter again and you can see it here the downgrade process or the restore is now in the final stages so we will wait here for the process to fully complete Your device will get into normal mode again. From there, get your device into DFU mode. Now from here, press enter and get your device into DFU. All right, as you can see, device entered DFU. Unplug and replug it. Type yes, press enter, press enter again. And 
the SSH RAM disk will be booted again and you will see done in the terminal and your device now should boot now guys at this point you will see a loading bar beneath an Apple logo and from there simply set your device up all right so guys so you can see my device is on iOS 10 so if I open settings and go to general about you can see the space here and you can see the version so it is essentially a dual boot so if I reboot my device I will go to iOS 12.5.7 or whatever my main OS is a jailbreak tool according to your iOS version so for iOS 10.3.3 I have Meridian jailbreak tool on my home screen and if I hit go it will start jailbreaking my device it is complete hit respring here it should accept any passcode go in and you will see CDR let's open it all right you can see it is successfully jailbroken you can see the version 10.3.3 now guys in the end I want to show you the dual boot I will simply restart the device turning it off all right I have turned the device back on you will see that it will now go to iOS 12.5.7 or whatever is your main iOS version all right as you can see it booted up and the version now is iOS 12.5.7 you can see the space it is a 16 GB device and I am left with 5.75 GB because iOS 10.3.3 is taking up all the remaining space now if you want to boot to the downgraded iOS version you will simply get your device into DFU mode and your device should show up on the semaphore in app you can see it is in DFU now go to options hit the boot button and then simply type your Mac OS password press enter hit proceed in DFU then type the version you have downgraded so for me I was 10.3.3 and then hit OK. I will again type the password. Press Enter. Now simply unplug and replug your device. Then type here yes. Press Enter. Press Enter again. And the process will continue. It will start booting the RAM disk and after the process is complete your device should boot into your downgraded iOS version now you can see I have booted into my downgraded iOS version and in the end let me show you the version all right all right 10.3.3 now you can simply re jailbreak your device using the tool provided that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care